Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Kyle with KBG Welding. We are TIG welding today. So we're TIG welding, but we want to talk about curves. So when you TIG weld, this is stainless steel, 316 stainless steel. And what happens is we're going to be TIG welding on the outside, but we need the purge. We need argon flowing on the inside so it doesn't get the uh, burnt um, material on the inside. So the purge is what you do when you're running argon or running gas inside the material as well as what's coming out of your TIG torch. So what I have here is a piece of scotch tape. It's a big piece of scotch tape um, that we're gonna close or seal our part with. Um, we got the front here or the side here, and this is where we're gonna cut our cord as well. Um, but we're, we had to wrestle with this a little bit. So it's big. It's a good good thing. You can use cardboard, you can use other, other uh, materials cardboard and then tape it but this is just one big piece of tape which works worked pretty good so um, there's three openings on here so I'm gonna do the, the front to the sides now the back now as you can see I really wrestled with this scotch tape there was some good uh, solid tape it, it stuck to itself real well um, so what happens is we'll get this uh, aluminum or this stainless steel part as I wrestle continue to wrestle with the uh, the tape we'll get across that that's a longer opening and we finally get it on there so we're running a millermatic uh, no not a millermatic it's a synchro wave 350 um, with our, what we're taking today and again we're running a hundred percent argon inside and out working off of acorn table we have this propped up because the plate that needs to be welded is on the side so try to get it as, as and it's a pretty heavy piece so you can't just move it around um, I had it propped up so I could get a better angle um, for the actual weld so we've got it wrapped up now got it sealed up now we have to insert our line for our argon um, trimming some of the excess that's where I'll be welding on that side got pretty close so that's the only reason to cut that and then we'll create a port for it just a little port anywhere in there um, since it's tape it kind of sticks to it so it wasn't that big a deal it just stuck in there but I just add put that other piece to kind of hold it on just so to make sure it didn't fall out or try to help seal any of the argon from just freely flowing out Okay, so here we got it set up. I've got the TIG torch ready and we're welding. So we're TIG welding and again, the uh, weld is on the outside. Then we have uh, the purge, the argon going on the inside. And I'll just do this horizontal weld. Um, if you see me holding the torch there after I finish welding, that's the, uh, allows argon, the overflow of the afterflow to cool that weld and keep it a clean um, weld so it doesn't end up with a burn. Um, look so that's the purge setup man that's how how we roll with it uh, thanks for subscribing be sure to if you haven't give us a like give us a like subscribe comment tell us what you got uh, talk about me whatever you need um, any insights you have uh, any questions you have please put them in the comments reach out to us we're here to serve thanks for checking us out KBG Welding.